Hey guys, here is an interesting story. So on the left where panels are, you may see the production of solar panels and on top we have the incoming values from the wind turbine from this inverter. Like here is the output, it shows the immediate one, the instant production, so to say. This is how it goes. We have the really crazy weather, it's, you know, it's rainy, it's windy, nothing specific. And this is quite a rare occasion when literally one kilowatt of wind turbine that is going into from, from the top is performing almost same as 12.5 kilowatts of solar. Um, like that's that's what it is so far for this day because the wind started actually a couple of hours ago and so is the sun so we have the total today production for sun currently at 0 0.8 kilowatt hours and for the micro inverter we have 0 0.5 which is pretty close and i don't know if this uh, if this ratio keeps during the day but let's see this is a rare occasion when <clears throat> when you may see that but imagine what if there would be 12 kilowatts of uh, wind power, right? That would have been amazing. Oh, you see, that's a huge spike, a huge gust that is going into 700. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's, that's the information for you. So uh, my message is the combo of solar and wind always works the best. Don't use just only one, um, one source of power. Find a way to use it something additional because solar might be not enough in the weather like this when the, 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 there is uh, a lot of clouds and well, there might be of course occasions when there is no wind. So that's why you have to use the combo. Thanks. See you later.